Tommy Tallarico. So apparently there's this friggin' Amico club going on, right? There's this little update on their website that they have this Amico club and that they have this Discord on and people can go in the Discord and talk about the Amico. Bing, bang, boo, boo, brrr, Amico. Yes, I just can't wait to join a friggin' shovelware Discord talking about shovelware games, trying to get 2016 cell phone games loaded onto the friggin' garbage other 2016 cell phone that I have. Like, this is so dumb. And this is, and it's getting hype. It's getting a lot of traction, too. It's friggin' people are like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to join the Discord. And people in the Discord are like, yay, so many members. So many people are in there. And meanwhile, everyone's, like, trolling. Everyone just wants to get the inside scoop of what's being said in the Discord so that people like me can read it and make fun of it and then make content out of it. That's the whole point of it, all right? That's literally the whole point. People on Discord, like Alvarado's in the Discord, literally answering every single question. He's like, yes, this can be played on a TV. Yes, this can be played on Plasma TV. Yes, this can be downloaded. Amazon Fire Link. Yes, use our affiliate links. Those scumbags on the friggin' Amico website, those scumbags, they have their own affiliate links up there for Amazon so that when you go on their website to buy the Amazon thing, they get a little bit of, they get a little bit of money too. How much more money do you guys want to friggin' drain from us friggin in television amico not only did you take 17 million investor money not only that you friggin or have your affiliate links up on amazon uh, on your website for the amazon link for the fire stick or whatever this is called okay let's read some comments joyce wallace the female version of tommy tallarico is steven tyler yes yeah, steven tyler from aerosmith rad rob i never knew there was an earthworm gym cartoon back in the day yes there was and it was funny too it had the same kind of jokes as like animaniacs or looney tunes it had that kind of trolling comedy and there was only like i think two seasons of it and then they shut it down it was actually pretty good i liked it a lot Johnny Appleseed says, CW PlayStation, upload the video to a Google Drive destination. Yes, CW PlayStation. I want to see the first part of that Batgammon video of him playing friggin' Batgammon. Next one. Slotham Knows uh, by Stephen Durant, 1724. Slotham Knows that Earth Engine 4 will be eclipsed by the Game Award winner of 2029, Finnegan Fox 8 Player Edition. <laughs> and they're going to be so trash that they're going to have one player jump one player go backwards, one player go forwards, one player duck, one player friggin' shoot the gun or whatever the hell he has, one player change the seasons. Like, that's what the... Remember what they did to Moon Patrol? Multiplayer Moon Patrol literally turned into one guy jumps, one guy shoots, one guy goes back, one guy goes forward. It's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, this was a really good comment by Don't Worry, Be Happy. This actually made me think, by the way. You said... Tommy was using investor money to fix up those cars in the office because they were using it as quote unquote marketing promotion. Investors would need to borrow Prince of Fallen's diapers if they found that out. Wouldn't that be something? That's actually a very interesting uh, comment because who knows? Maybe those cars that were in the friggin' Irvine Cucked California office, maybe those cars were... Um, were supposed to be used for like a game like Hot Wheels. Maybe they were supposed to be used for the game Sideswipers as a marketing commercial, right? So that's the thing about like, that's the thing about charity events or friggin' like donations or friggin' like Star Engine Republic, all this stuff like that, crowdfunding, is there's so many loopholes as to what you can use the money for. And that's a good point. So maybe some of those cars in the cucked California office were used for friggin' um what do you call it? Like a uh, marketing promotion. And then instead of friggin' Alvarado making games and, and, and like coding everything, he's friggin' in the back uh, garage with a wrench trying to fix the Porsche and trying to add a turbo to it or something. You never know. That's a very good point that you brought up. Who knows how many other things Tommy had in that office or something that was supposed to be used for marketing promotion, which some of the investor money was poured into that didn't actually end up making it out because the friggin', you know, Cooties 19 or something like that happened. Very good point. Very good to think about that. Rad Rob says uh, something about Metal Jesus Amico unit. Okay. 
The Dead Zone 9666 says, Shill Adam tried with Mike Kennedy on the chameleon, but he needed a better salesman at the helm. Enter Tommy. Great choice, Phil. Second time's a charm. Yeah, that's a good point, right? Because who the hell is Mike Kennedy? No one knows who Mike Kennedy is. I don't know what he did, what he is, where he is now. Who knows? But the perfect salesman and marketing promoter and friggin' someone at the front lines is definitely Tommy Tallarico. He was the perfect guy for this. I'm telling you. And Television Amicos got as popular as it did because of Tommy Tallarico's charisma, charm, friendship building materials, everything. He's a genius when it comes to that. And that's why he got so high. Um, he goes, he got so high up in his personal career working at jobs and stuff because he was so good at making friends with the bosses he, he would cuck to the bosses he would cuck to on the cuck to all the incels and all that and they would like him he was like yeah tommy and on top of that he can play video game music how cool is that nothing's cooler than that right next comment by rad rob there's another Intellivision entertainment update right before christmas Intellivision entertainment is the most Asinized gaming company on the planet 100% that is so true so that's what they updated right it was the discord so go on into the discord and you know what in that discord it's literally boomers boomer incels like in their 50s and 60s trying to figure out how to connect the friggin amico home to their plasma tv 90 85 percent of the questions in there are old bags that don't know how to that are that that are not technology savvy asking Alvarado how do I hook this up to this how do I work how do I get darts to friggin work on my plasma TV how do I get friggin side swipers to work on this work on that that's all the questions there are people that don't even know how to hook the damn thing up and this is supposed to be simple affordable safe space or it's supposed to be SAFE right simple affordable family entertainment and it's not it's hard to friggin hook up uh, you say Tommy Tallarico wanted the Amico to be easy to play. It's the most complicated, complicated piece of crap on the planet. You have to have two cell phones to play the damn thing. WTF, Tommy and Phil. And right, and hooking it up to the friggin' Plasma TV is even harder. That whole Bluetooth connection with the cell phone makes everything much, much more complicated. In television entertainment needs a class action lawsuit filed against them immediately. We've had a not. Nah, they, they, they got away with it, okay? No one, nothing is going to happen to a television amico and in television and shill Adam, pirate ship Alvarado, friggin' Nick Richards blasting prairie dogs, and the friggin' uh, Han Slippish in Egypt riding a camel. Nothing's going to happen to these guys, all right? Sarah Acker is fine and dandy in her white picket house, friggin' uh, the white fence, white fence picket house and having a nice time with her husband with her family having a good time nothing is going to happen to these guys they're in the sea of thieves and friggin uh uh scammeroni and pirate ship alvarado hit them all in the friggin cayman islands and then brad robbie say three cell phones are required to play side swipers ridiculous three cell phones oh my god how can you get even three people together to play the friggin' damn thing, right? I bet you a bunch of boomer incels, like these old bag men, right, that are at home, they're probably gonna steal or probably borrow their kid's cell phone or their wife's cell phone and be like, I wanna play side swipers, like some cuck, while meanwhile their wives are getting tyroned on the side and that they're not getting attended to. Like, come on, guys, these are shovelware games that no one friggin' cares about at all, ever. No one cares about these. And you're sitting there like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this and that and this and that. Get the hell out of here. Darts, Shark Shark, Sideswipers, and friggin' whatever else are the most garbage games I've ever seen in my life. Pathetic. And then uh, Harold720 says, I feel bad for anyone that has to experience their Atari creep in real life. That toothless hobo shilled for the Intellivision Amico so much. And then he was getting mad at us for calling him out. He was getting mad at us for telling the truth about how these games are trash. Atari Creep would come on YouTube and be like, why is everyone complaining? Why can't everyone just have fun? Why can't everyone just, you know, mellow out and just enjoy the Amico and Miko news? Well, you know why? Because they freaking took 17 million of everyone's hard earned money in their stupid little fundraiser and you're freaking there flossing your toothless face about freaking Amico this and Amico that. You're there crying your eyes about, you're there crying your eyes out thinking about freaking, um, like, uh, uh, oh, you're, you, you were on your last moment in life and the Amico saved your life. It's a friggin' foot bath 
with a 2016 cell phone chip that's selling for $550 Canadian with a stupid laser light show you can enjoy while friggin' having frying eggs or something. And what, what did Tommy Tallarico say? Oh, it's going to be the centerpiece of your, of your, it's going to be the centerpiece of your living room. No, it's not. The only thing it's going to be used for is to be, have some boiling hot water poured into it, put your feet in there, massage it. After you're done your foot bath, pick it up like a Frisbee and launch it outside until it burst into a million pieces because Nick Richards was ready with his antique musket to shoot it from the air. God damn it, this Intellivision Miko sucks and this stupid Discord is, a, is the biggest group of cucked incels getting together talking about the stupid Amico.